spoke a little bit about it, but just what have you learned about what St. Louis soccer has meant to the, this country? Yeah, you know, growing up in the United States, we've, we've always viewed St. Louis as the you know, soccer capital of the United States. A, a huge tradition um, with its club structure and the players it's produced, and it's nice to be here and, and m most importantly be able to honor the people that came before us. What does it mean for your players to kind of pass that on? We saw the ceremonial and just know that all the history here. Yeah, I mean, we take the heritage of, of our national team program very seriously, and, and it's a great honor to be able to, to meet with the, 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 the players from St. Louis and, um, and, and really tell them that we appreciate everything they've done. Are any of these guys you were aware of in your oh, yeah, of days? Yeah. Um, you know, when we would talk about Dave Bursich, you know, I remember him playing goalie. You know, um, Steve Trichu was, was uh, mm -hmm. a hero of mine growing up. 1990, you know, that was right around the time I was in my teens and, and seeing him compete for the United States and then the team qualified for the World Cup, mm -hmm. Cup was, a, was a tremendous um, accomplishment. And then, you know, Ty Keogh, of course, and Mike Sorber, Mike Slavinsky I played with, and, and you know, um, so it, it's a, it's an impressive list that we have. Mm -hmm. What do you think about, uh, you mentioned St. Louis, it's place in soccer history, and now we have this, like a shrine to the sport here. And, and I think that was the next step for the city to needed to take, right, is having an MLS franchise and having such an impressive facility and stadium where, where the people can celebrate everything that's been built in St. Louis. How significant is it to play a game in St. Louis in that stadium? It's great. You know, last time we played here, um, when I was when I was coach, it was in the, in the Cardinal Stadium, and um, you know, in, in all due respect, that's not a soccer environment. Now we go into this stadium, and it's built for soccer. And it's something that's going to be really special. I know the atmosphere, atmosphere in the stadium is incredible, so we're looking forward to that game. Talk a bit about, and we touched on a little earlier, but we have the alumni here from St. Louis and all around, but just the overall significance of players like that that uh, has allowed U.S. soccer to build to where it is now. You know, that's what it is, is every time you play for the national team, you get your opportunity to, to make a mark on the history of U.S. soccer. And as our team in this generation is just one dot on this massive timeline of everything that's come before us. So it's great to see to be able to see the impact that St. Louis has made on the national team program. You were here for a game, right? Didn't you, you and your son was yeah, here? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. So I got to see the atmosphere. I'm looking forward to it. Josh hurt right now. Tim here to this this week. Yeah. Both from the same high school here in St. Louis. Yep. How do you see them kind of carrying on that legacy? No, you know that's just another another group in the long line of tradition in St. Louis. And um, you know it's great to see both of them thriving in their clubs. Um, Tim, you know, being a stalwart in England for the last decade, and Josh, you know, uh, um, adapting, breaking through, and, and playing really well with with Norwich this season. So. Unfortunately, he couldn't be here, but he, you know he's a um, he's done a great job. Do you think guys like that can inspire the younger kids around here to say, if they can do it, I can do it too? Absolutely. Uh, it's just about um, having role models and having examples. And when they see these guys, particularly on, on the field on Saturday, when, when when kids from St. Louis see Tim on the field, they, you know they'd be able to say, okay, it's possible. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, coach.